What's going on everyone? I'm Chirag and welcome to part 37 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway tutorial. So guys, in this tutorial, I will take you through on how to handle task timeout exception within API Gateway with the Lambda function as backend integration, right? So now let's try to understand the problem and we will also see why we need to explicitly handle the task timeout exception. So here, as you can see on my screen, I have this API demo time API endpoint. And within that API, I have created the slash invoke resource. And within that resource, we have the method that is post method, right? And that method is basically non-proxy integration. And it is having the backend integration as the Lambda function. And the timeout Lambda function has been integrated with this method. So if we look at the timeout Lambda function, then it is having the default code. It is simply returning the status code 200 and the appropriate body message, right? So that's all this Lambda function is doing as of now. And I also uh, deployed this API endpoint. So what we are going to do is we are going to first go ahead and invoke this API endpoint and see the results. So for that, I will select stages. And from here, I will copy the invocation URL. I will navigate to Postman. I will paste it over here. I will say slash invoke. And here I will select post method and I will say send. So now as you can see, it returns status code 200. It means the success message with the appropriate response that we wanted to send from the Lambda function, right? So it means this API invocation or the API endpoint is working fine. So now what we will do is we will navigate to the Lambda function. And here we will say import time. And here within this function, we will say time dot sleep for three seconds. Why three seconds? Because this Lambda function have the default timeout of three seconds. And we wanted this Lambda function to sleep for three seconds so that we can explicitly time out this Lambda function. And then we will see what is the response that we are getting. So now uh, we will say send again. So now as you can see, it returned the error message saying the Lambda function timeout or the task timeout after three seconds. But now if we look at the status, then it is returning status code 200. It means the success message. Correct. So now uh, what we want to do here is if the Lambda function is timing out for some reason, we don't want to return the status code 200. We want to return the custom code, uh, for example, 408 that is for request timeout but we don't want to return the status code 200. So how we can handle this? So now uh, since we have the non-proxy integration in place, we can handle this exception at the API level, correct? So to configure the custom error code, we will navigate to API gateway. We will select resources from the left panel, select the method that is post method. Now here we need to configure things at two places that is method response and the integration response. So first of all, we need to decide on or, or we need to define which status code, which HTTP code we want to return if the Lambda function is uh, timing out. So for that, uh, we will navigate to method response first. Here we will say add response and here we will say we want to return 408. So here we are basically defining the HTTP status code. And once you define that, click on this tick mark and then click on this uh, expansion icon. And here we will say add response model. And here we will simply say content type as application slash JSON. And within model, we will select the empty model and then click on this tick mark. Now, once this is done, uh, go back to the method execution and click on integration response. So here, as you can see, uh, we have only status code 200 defined. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on add integration response. So here uh, we need to configure a few fields. So the first one is Lambda error regex. So here we need to define the regular expression so that uh, it is successfully able to identify if there is a timeout or not. So what we are going to do is we want to uh, say that if any string or any error message contains task timeout within that string, then it should return status code 408, right? So it should detect uh, that it is a timeout if any string contains task timeout within the string. So for that, we will simply uh, define the uh, regular expression. So we will say dot asterisk task timeout dot asterisk. So any string that contains task timeout, then it should be able to return status code 408, right? So this is the regular expression that we have defined. Now within method response status, we will select 408 and within content handling, we will say pass through and click on save. Now, once you click on save, click on this expansion icon 
and navigate to mapping templates if you want to transform the uh, response. So we will say add mapping template. We will say application slash JSON and then click on this tick mark and within generate template, we will say method request pass through and we will save this. Save again. Now, once this is configured, click on action, say deploy API, select the deployment stage. It is version one in my case, say deploy. Now, once this is deployed, we are good to test the API endpoint. So navigate to postman and we will say send. So now, as you can see on my screen, the status code has been changed to 408. That is request timeout from 200. That is the success code. And here we have the response that we are receiving, right? So here we have the error message and all the details. But in real scenario, we, we might not need to return uh, this much information, right? So we simply want to return the error message and the status code is 408. So what we can do is we can go back to the API gateway, click on resources, select the uh, method that is post method in my case and within integration response, click on this expansion icon and say mapping template. So here uh, we can basically transform the response message. So we will remove this. We will simply say curly braces in double quotes. We will say error message because we want to return the error message colon. We will say dollar input dot path and within parenthesis within single quote, we will say dollar dot error message. So this will basically transform the uh, response into saying error message and the error message that we are receiving from the Lambda function. So we will say save again and we need to redeploy this API. So click on action, say deploy API, select the deployment stage and say deploy. Now we are good to test. So navigate to postman, we will say send again. So now as you can see on my screen, we have the transformed response. Now it is only returning the error message and with the appropriate error message that is coming from the Lambda function with the status code 408 that is for request timeout and it is not returning status code 200 or the success response. So basically this is how you can handle the task timeout exception with an API gateway when we have Lambda function as a part of the backend integration. So guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.